Archaeologists have discovered an ancient piggy bank that is about 1,500 years old. A lost translation of the Bible has been found in the Vatican. Scientists at the museum discovered a real dinosaur embryo, mysterious burial, and ancient tunnels for defense. These are the most unusual archaeological discoveries captured on camera. Hi, friend, you're on the Curtop channel. Fragment of the Multiplication Table an archaeological discovery made in the city of Zhengzhou in the Chinese province of Hubei turned out to be a real discovery for the history of mathematics. In one of the ancient tombs, which is more than 2,300 years old, thousands of bamboo sheets were found, on which records related to mathematics, literature, medicine, and animal husbandry were recorded. These sheets, used for writing before the invention of paper, contained more than 30,000 characters. One of the most significant discoveries were fragments containing the oldest known multiplication table. The bamboo texts demonstrate basic mathematical operations. 5 times 7 equals 35. 4 times 7 equals 28. 3 times 7 equals 21. These cheat sheets date from the Warring States period, which preceded the unification of China under Emperor Qin Shi Huang and the founding of the Qin Dynasty. Dinosaur Embryo a unique discovery was made at the Yinnan Stone Natural History Museum in China. In the storage room where the exhibit had lain for more than 10 years, a fully formed dinosaur embryo was found inside a fossilized egg. This discovery, as reported by IFL Science, provides a new information about the connection between dinosaurs and modern birds. This dinosaur embryo, estimated to be 66 72 million years old, belongs to the Ovaraptor source, a group of theropods characterized characterized by the winged and toothless structure. Interestingly, its position, fixed in the egg, is typical for birds, namely its hat under the wing, which is typical for chicks preparing to hatch. The discovery suggests that this posture may have first appeared in the ancient ancestors of modern birds, theropods. The embryo was nicknamed Baby in Liang, in honor of the museum where it was found. Mummified Teen Mom Archaeologists have examined the mummified remains of a young mother who died in childbirth more than one and a half thousand years ago and discovered shocking details. Two fetuses were found in the pelvic area and in the chest. This discovery is amazing and terrifying at the same time. The mummy of a teenage girl who died during childbirth in ancient Egypt was found in the cargo oasis at the Al Bawad Cemetery in 1908. The body is treated with salt, which corresponds to the ancient Egyptian practice of mummification. At first, archaeologists assumed that the girl died from complications during childbirth. However, a CT scan showed a second fetus in the chest, indicating it went pregnancy. Particularly disturbing was the discovery that one of the fetuses was missing a head. The research revealed that the baby's head was stuck in the mother's pelvis, which led to his decapitation during childbirth. This is the first known case in Egypt. It is assumed that the embalmers may not have known about the twins and forgot to remove the second fetus. This the study highlights the dangers of pregnancy and childbirth during this era. The ancient Egyptians regarded birth with deep respect, as seen in spells against twin pregnancy. Ancient Piggy Bank Archaeologists working in the ancient city of Adrianopolis in Eskipaza region of Turkey have discovered a unique find, a collection of 10 coins that are approximately one and a half thousand years old. These coins were presumably kept in an ancient piggy bank. The city of Adrianopolis, also known as a Zygma of the Black Sea for its mosaics of various animals, has been explored since 2003 by a Sin Telekbasis team from Karabakh University. This ancient city is famous for its churches with mosaics mosaics and important finds including fortifications, rock tombs, and arch buildings. During excavations in one of the buildings, an amazing find was discovered – coins from the time of Constance II, covering the period from 641 to 666 AD. These coins, according to Chalikbash, could have been used as an ancient piggy bank, probably by a woman of that time. The Mystery of the Great Sea Migration 
Chinese archaeologists have made an impressive discovery on Pintan Island, which lies off the coast of the southeastern province of Fuchen. Research has shown that civilization on the island may have existed about 7,300 years ago. This discovery suggests that Pintan may have played a key role in one of the largest sea migrations in human history. New research indicates that Austronesians lived on Pintan between 3,000 and 7,500 years ago. Archaeologists have found traces of an advanced society with residential buildings and structures for various economic needs, including the first mention of rice cultivation. Genetic analysis of human remains showed matches with Austronesians distributed from Taiwan to Easter Island in Chile. This ethnic group, once found in Southeast Asia, Micronesia, Polynesia, New Zealand and Hawaii, has approximately 400 million descendants today. It was previously thought that Austronesians originated in Taiwan and began migrating due to population growth in the last 5,000 years. However, the finds at Pintan force a reconsideration of this theory, suggesting that their origins may have been more extensive and included not only Taiwan, but also mainland China. Unusual Burial in Sweden in Holmstad, Sweden, archaeologists discovered an unusual burial that attracted attention for its uniqueness. The remains of a tall man were found in the grave, buried with a rare artifact, a 1.2-meter-long sword. The find indicates that the deceased may have been an influential person. During excavations at the site of the former monastery, which operated from the late 15th century until 1531, researchers discovered 49 graves, but this one stood out. A tall man whose height reached almost two meters lay with a sword, which is rare for medieval burials. Of particular interest was the decoration on the sword, inlaid crosses made of precious metals. This find indicates the noble origin or high status of the deceased. Two more graves were found nearby, belonging to an adult woman and a man highlighting the site's importance as a burial place for dignitaries during the Franciscan era. Holmstad, located southwest of Stockholm, was an important city within the Kingdom of Denmark. Intact Mayan Burials In the mysterious cave in Tulum, located in the Mexican state of Quintana Roo, archaeologists have discovered untouched Mayan burials. The discovery was made while laying a path between two ancient temples. Researchers unexpectedly stumble upon a cave where human remains were located under a powerful rock. The unusual situation with the burials raised many questions. Some skeletons were separated by a rock, as if a person was trying to get to a hidden chamber but was trapped. Eight burials were found in a cave just half a meter high, the dry environment helped preserve the remains in their original form. In the cave, two small chambers were discovered with the remains of animals, some of whose bones were processed as artifacts. The finds date back to the late post-classic period. Difficult excavation conditions are not stopping archaeologists planning the 3D scan of the area. City from 8th century poetry in Nanjing, China, archaeologists have discovered the ancient city of Chan'an, mentioned in the Ballad of Chan'an by poet Li Po. The age of the find exceeds 3,000 years, which provides an opportunity to study the history of this place. Dating from the 8th century, Li Po's ballad tells the story of a young bride facing loneliness and longing for her husband. The heroine's emotional journey ends in melancholy, reflecting her desire for a reunion. The archaeological team discovered numerous artifacts, including wall foundations, trenches, wells, ovens, and a sacrificial pit. According to Wan Wei, president of the China Council of Archaeology, this object became a significant find for Nanjing in 2023. The artifacts include pottery, dingware, and other objects that reveal new aspects of, of Chanjiang culture. This discovery is important not only for archaeology, but also for literature, linking Li Bai's poems with the real ancient city. The excavations provide further insight into the cultural context of Nanjing, an ancient civilization, demonstrating the relationship between art and reality. Remains of a new species of people at an archaeological site between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem in Israel, international researchers have discovered mysterious skull fragments that may belong to a non known population of Homo. Discovered in 2021, the remains may be those of Nashiramla Homo, who lived in the region 140 120,000 years ago. This population, according to scientists, exchanged genes and culture with Homo sapiens. The skull fragments include a parietal bone, with archaic features not typical of Homo sapiens 
champions or Neanderthals, and a lower jaw with archaic features. Scientists suggest that Nashuramla Homo could be an intermediate form between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. The discovery, according to paleoanthropologist Martha Lahr of the University of Cambridge, is significant because of its location and age. If confirmed, this discovery could explain the origins of other finds, such as the Lady of Taban discovered in 1932. Some scientists, however, have expressed doubts, suggesting other explanations, including the possibility that the fragments belong to Denisovans. Ancient Tactical Defense Tunnels more than 4,000 years ago, entering the ancient stone city of Hushenzo was a real challenge. The defensive system included many layers of walls and armed inhabitants. However, the most surprising thing is the recently discovered secret underground tunnels that function as a hidden transport network. The tunnels are located at a depth of 1.5 to 6 meters. The internal dimensions of the tunnel range from 0.9 to 1.8 meters in height and about 1.2 meters in width. Some tunnels pass under the city's defensive walls opening passages to the outside. This system strengthened the defense of the city, which was already equipped with a sophisticated defense system. Hu Shenzhou is located on the north bank of the Han River in Qinzhihe County, Mongolian Autonomous Region. Archaeologists first discovered the city in 2005 and began systematic excavations in 2019. Excavations at Hu Shenzhou have revealed three different city gates, each with its own characteristics. A small cemetery consisting of eight rectangles Angular graves was discovered inside the city. Chinese Fortified City Archaeologists in Henan Province, China, have discovered ancient ruins of a 4,000-year-old Chia dynasty palace. The find confirms the existence of this legendary dynasty, which was previously considered a myth. The ruins are located in Qinmi, an ancient walled city. The discovery includes the remains of a rammed earth foundation covering 17 hectares and a variety of artifacts. Researchers suggest that the foundation was part of a residential complex, including terraces, cloisters, and a central courtyard. Circular structures similar to ancient grain storage granaries are noted, providing insight into agricultural practices and grain storage during that era. This discovery greatly enhances the understanding of the culture and history of the Chia dynasty, previously known only from literary descriptions. Excavations make it possible to connect historical myths with real archaeological data, revealing new aspects of ancient China. Elite Tomb in the Temple of Apollo in western Turkey, in the village of Galpinar, archaeologists have discovered an ancient Roman tomb, about 2,000 years old, located in the sanctuary of Apollo Smythias. The remains of more than 10 people were found in the tomb, including children and adults who were mixed together, indicating possible disturbances or looting in the past. The Temple of Apollo itself, built at Gamaxitis around 150 BC, is in the Ionic style. Decorative elements have been preserved, in particular fragments of entablature showing and scenes from Homer's famous Iliad. The region mentioned in the Iliad played an important role in the history of the Trojan War. Excavations in the area have yielded many artifacts and traces of temples, providing a unique insight into life in ancient times. Lost Bible Translation Fragment Austrian scientists have made a remarkable discovery in the Vatican Library, a new chapter of the Bible in the translation of the Gospel of Matthew dating back to 1750. The text, invisible to the naked eye, was discovered using ultraviolet photography. The discovery was part of a research project aimed at recovering texts erased or rewritten by scribes between the 4th and 12th centuries AD. Manuscripts of this kind, called palimpsests, were created repeatedly on already used material. This was due to a shortage of writing materials. With the help of ultraviolet light, it was possible to reveal the lost text. Among the 74 manuscripts recovered was one particularly valuable, an ancient version of the Bible, 100 years older than the earliest Greek translations, including the Codex Sinaiticus. The new text expands on the famous words about Jesus' disciples plucking the ears of corn and adding, they rubbed them in their hands and ate them. This discovery is an important contribution to the understanding of ancient Syriac texts and the study of of ancient writing. Creepy Puzzle 
Researchers have discovered that in prehistoric times, people around the world deliberately amputated fingers as part of religious rituals. This follows from an analysis of cave art dating back to 25,000 years ago in Spain and France, which shows the imprints of human hands with missing fingers. It had previously been suggested that such defects could be the result of medical problems or creative vision. However, according to a group of scientists, these people may have deliberately cut off their fingers in a bid for supernatural help. Interesting Personally, such rituals were common in various cultures and on all continents. For example, the Dani people of New Guinea still practice similar rituals, amputating the fingers of women after the death of loved ones. This confirms the hypothesis about the existence of similar rituals in the Paleolithic. Handprints with missing fingers have been found not only in Europe, but also in Africa, Australia, North and South America, South Asia and Southeast Asia, indicating that the practice is widespread. Fishermen found a sunken ship. In the summer of 2023, an event occurred that became part of the history of U.S. navigation. Tim Wallach and his daughter Hanley, who loves fishing, went to Lake Michigan. Hanley's goal was to swim off the coast of Green Island, and Tim planned to go fishing. On August 13th, while making their way by boat along the shore, they came across wooden debris at the bottom of the lake. Using his depth sounder, Tim discovered more than just debris underwater. Having published a photo from the eco sounder on social networks, he aroused the interest of experts from the Wisconsin Historical Society. Experts, using a remotely controlled underwater device, found that the George L. Newman, a wooden sailing ship built in 1855, rests at the bottom of the lake. The lumber ship ran into trouble in 1871 due to the Great Peshtigo Fire, which destroyed the town of Peshtigo and killed approximately 1,200 people. The George L. Newman, caught in the fire zone, was engulfed in thick smoke and ran aground. Thanks to the lighthouse keeper, the ship's crew was able to escape, leaving the ship to the mercy of fate. Over time, the ship was covered with sand and its remains were discovered at a depth of 2-3 meters. This video has come to an end, but you can watch my previous videos on the channel. They are no less interesting than this one. Leave your kind comments under the video, it helps in the development of the channel. Thanks for your views, bye everyone!